Welcome Sagittarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is for a week uh, um, for um, this business um, reading. All right. So what we see here is secrecy. A whole lot of secrecy, Sagittarian. Whatever is happening and transpiring, there is a whole lot of secrecy that is going on. Um, a whole lot of secrecy, whatever is transpiring, secrecy, a whole lot of secrecy, a whole lot of information, secrecy over the work floor, secret with a business, a whole lot of strife, a whole lot of strife. And I see this is going to be finally coming to an end. So the secrets and the strife that has been happening on the work floor is uh, going to be coming to an end in the month of January for some of you, not all of you. Um, this is a um, a general reading, so be aware of this. Uh, um, and what is going to be happening and transpiring is that people are now going to be recognizing, recognizing what was happening and, uh, um, recognizing that uh, people have used their powers in the wrong way. As we look at the second week, a lot of you, um, business people or, um, uh, um, women that are business women, our managers, I see that you could be coming in with some sort of a trouble, some sort of a problem, um, finding inner strength to deal with some sort of an issue on the work floor with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. I see that this person is really um, making you be responsible for something that you have nothing to do with. And this young person is going to be saying, you know, we work together on this and we have created this. Um, I need help to get out of this. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see some sort of a secret is going to be coming out that you older women, um, whether you're a manager or you are a self-employed individual, have worked together with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man to collaborate and did something against a client or a business associates. They are recognizing what you have done. And I see... Um, that you you guys have been keeping this as a secret for a very long time and now it is coming out and people are being um, seeing the play that has happened and transpired and I see the secrets is going to finally come to an end because people are going to be recognizing um, that the things that was done was not correct so you um, managers and business women you are in for some sort of a trip um, because the secrets is going to be coming out. And I see um, a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person is going to be holding you reliable for um, what is happening. Um, this person is going to be really holding you reliable for um, what has transpired in their world and uh, how they were affected. And I see strife. I see you're having strive in the second week. I strive with a whole lot of people around you. Strive with um, people at the workplace. Um, a whole lot of strive. You have lost your energy. You have no will to fight anymore. And I see you're dealing with a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man. And this person is, um, you know, full of, uh, I think this person have is full of hate. Hate, you know, there is something about this person that um, have so much strife within them and it's full of hate. And you have to realize when you are around these people that these people can bring your energy down, can block you from your financial flow. And, um, you know, you have to take a really good look whether or not you want to move forward um, with this person because this person is really um, arrogant, um, some sense of arrogance, but also, um, you know, when people are arrogant and they're hateful, that is even worse because it's as if some of you are recognizing that whoever this person is, uh, feel as if you have gotten them in some sort of a situation or feel as if uh, you created some sort of a situation and it's the opposite. They have created uh, this situation for themselves. Okay. Um, and, uh, they're looking for a scapegoat. And I see that you Sagittarius really need to recognize this and re really recognize that this person is not someone who face up to their responsibility and recognize that no one make them do anything. They make the decision. They have the choices to leave 
um, when they want to. Okay. And it's, it's as if, you know, this verse is behaving as if uh, you owe them um, to ransom. Nobody owes anyone to ransom. They want to make a decision and move uh, forward. It is their um, decision. Okay. So it's as if a whole lot of uh, arrogance um, is coming to a lot of you. And you are going to be understanding. And I, I see that some of you are just like putting up a mirror around you. And this is the best way to deal with arrogant people and people who are chaotic and create strides is to put up a mirror around you to reflect their negativity back on them. Okay. So um, if you're dealing with an arrogant person or someone who is very chaotic, someone who is a very, um, you know, full of strive and hate, because when people put is full of strive, they have a lot of uh, hate towards you. Okay. And this is what is really happening. So with the arrogancy, the strive come with the arrogancy. And with both of those, you need to, you know, visualize yourself with mirrors in front of you, mirror behind you, mirror at your right hand, mirror at your left hand. For, um, ask your angels and guys to seal you off uh, with a pyramid of mirror, um, mirror that is on top of your head going down and protecting you and grounding you to the hurt so that you can, um, let this negativity and the strive uh, that is coming at you bounce off because, um, that is how, um, you know, you can protect yourself from these situations. So no matter where you are, whether it's at a workplace, wherever it is, you're going to be recognizing this and it's going to be learning to protect yourself from this arrogancy because a lot of people cannot take arrogant people because it's as if they eat their energy up and they feed on their energy because if you're arrogant and you're if you're conflicts and there's conflicts and there's uh, um competition always uh, that means uh, um you know you have a problem um because why is there um conflicts why is there why can't you resolve situation in a very good um way instead of you're having these conflicts and these uh, Burst out and this arrogance is because you're dealing with your own self demons, okay? And uh, um, people tend to bring us to the work floor, and people do not understand there are some things that you need to leave outside the door when you step in uh, your work as a professional person, and some people are not aware of this. In the third week, I see a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person is coming in in the third week and is really hoping to find um, work or a job or something and it's not going to be happening um, for them um, for whatever reason and I think that some of you, you could have ended this person contract and then you're recognizing there might be no more um work for this person okay because of the COVID virus and that sort of a thing and i see this it could be affecting this person mentally and th that is where the arrogancy is coming in from this person but you know at times it is times when um you know if one thing isn't working you have to try another thing okay so Whatever is happening and transpiring is that this person need to recognize um, for themselves that, uh, um, you know, it's time for them to move on. It's time for them to move on. It's time for them to really understand that because of their arrogancy and because of the way how they um, react to people, that is the reason why you are letting go of this person, Okay. Then we see at the four weeks, the four weeks is that uh, an ending is coming in. And this is when you're going to, you start to feel the shift from this person in the third week. The third week is when everything blows out and you recognize this. And I think um, the last week is when you're going to be happy that this person no longer is going to be uh, be around 
So, you know, having this arrogance and this burst out and this competition and, and this conflicts and this chaos, and you're going to be at peace within yourself because you recognize you had to make some sort of a decision in order to protect yourself and in order for you not to get in the stress and understand that you have to choose um, over your health than to deal with this person that has been so um, full of competition, so stressful for you that was affecting your mental state, being at your work that you were afraid of this person and as, as if, uh, you know, you are the boss and you, um, you create your own business. You have people that work for you, but this person, um, with their, uh, you know, competition, some people were comp having competition and some people were just full of strife and some people were just full of some sort of arrogancy towards you, whether that you are a female in this position or you're a man in this position and you're going to be bringing some sort of a break and some sort of an ending to this because I see that some of you are recognizing that this person energy or this person um, energy is really, um, you know, putting you off a ground where you sometimes don't even feel like to go to your work um, where you recognize that uh, because of this person of, um, uh, um, you know, how this person, because of how this person, um, deal with you, you recognize that, um, you feel as if it's not, you feel as if you are not, um, it's as if you feel as if you're not, um, capable of dealing with a situation anymore. It's as if it's breaking you down uh physically that you will sometimes think whether or not it is good for me to take on and move on and i see that you should not make anyone um make you feel in a sense just cut the person off and let it go because it doesn't really matter take your own health in consideration over other people because if someone is dealing with an issue and they don't know how to communicate is not your problem. But whenever they're going to be creating arrogance, chaos, conflicts all the time, it is time to say goodbye. And whether it's in a work position or it is in your private life, this is a lesson that I think a lot of people, a lot of people will stay in the situation and know that it is not healthy for them, but yet still staying in an unhealthy situation until it, you know, it, 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 it take a stress on them and they are dead and these people just keep on moving on, you know. Um, so make a decision what you're going to be doing. Um, this person is leaving, so um, it is good for um, you. Um, it is better for you. Um, and recognize these people as they come in because people don't see people when they come to, a, um, when someone go for, an interview and uh, you see like the face mask up but when the face mask is off that is when you see these people for who they are so it is a month Sagittarian but you are going to be coming true um you're definitely going to be coming true if you'd like to see the extended of this reading um please um follow me to the other side if not i am saying to you namaste and i'm wishing you a really really wonderful um month and please thumbs up likes and share i'll speak to you next time